We have arrived at the Night Fey Covenant. You could probably use a little help, huh? This is going to be such fun. Moonberry looks serious. Mortal though you are, you've chosen to become one of our champions. While you uphold our cause, we are obligated to extend hospitality to you within our sacred hall and grant you certain boons. As a member of the Court of Night, I can bestow our powers on a chosen mortals. Noble Paladin of Azeroth, I bid you welcome to the first tree, Tirna Akiat, the heart of the forest. Please, follow me. Such witty repartee. Lead on. I can't wait to see. Long ago, after the trees in the night fey arose, the first mortal souls appeared in Ardenweald. Okay, so... Winter Queen made Ardenweald, and from Ardenweald, mortal souls showed up. Oh. Okay. Were they also sorted by the Arbiter back then? Or was it like, nah, 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 nah. Ooh, okay, look at that. Ooh. Our queen met it at the gateway. You are neither spirit nor fey. Why have you come to my forest? I've been sent to you, the spirit sets. For in life, I devoted myself to serving nature. Then be welcome in my realm, replied the queen. Oh, so the realm was first for the animals and the flying and the, and the deers and the cranes. And then mortal souls showed up as well. Because, like, druidism spread and... Uh, okay. Look at all those chickens. I mean, all those tranquil souls. Chilling. Having fun. This is the land of the animals, and we are welcome as a wee paladin. Accept this boon, and use it for the benefit of Ardenweald. The soul knelt. How may I be of service, O queen? Tend to these spirits forevermore. The cycle must continue, or all is lost. How shall I do this, O queen? The soul asked, for my body is no more. I grant you this boon. Become as the wild creatures. Whatever shape you require, it shall be yours. And so, noble, I extend the queen's boon to you. Arise. Okay, so they basically just give you the soul shape ability back. And they kind of explain, like, okay, this is the reason why you get your soul shape. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Never a dull moment with you. Hang on. Cable in the way. There we go. May this boon aid you in the trials ahead. There we go. Land of the animals makes sense that you be accepted. Oi. Oi. The next boon we grant thee is one of bonds. As you have bound yourself to us, we shall bind to you. In the binding of souls, we become something greater. Moonberry leans in close. Sounds scary and super formal, right? Don't worry. You and your soul binds. You and your soul binds with both get str You and your soul binds with both get stronger. You know, when I ask for volunteers, many fays step forwards. I pick someone I just know that you're going to like, and this is going to help her too. Go over and meet Flutterby. She'll help you both. You still have your head. Oh wow. I love guiding soul binding. It's my favorite duty. Flutter by a clasp her hands before her and assumes an air of tranquility. To soul bind with another is not an irrevocable bond. However, it is not to be entered into lightly. You will experience one another's past, your hopes, fears, dreams, your very memories. As long as the bond exists, you are intertwined, always together, even when apart. Um, once complete, your connection will transcend physical space and make you stronger in more than mere brawn. Yeah, it would be my honor Eventually. to fight beside you, my friend. Okay, so Nia of the Wild Hunt, uh, who can mysteriously duplicate herself, is going to be our first Soulbind. And Nisha is somebody you party with during the uh, Art of Wild questing. There's a lot I she lost her learn. grove and she's like, can't we bring it back? And they're like, no, it's part of the cycle, blah, blah, blah. Watch your step. Oh yeah, dragon, Soulbind with me. Mmm... Kind of feel like this cutscene needs to be improved, though. It doesn't have the oomph, right? I kind of feel like there should be a soul coming out of you that looks like you, and then a soul coming out of her, and then they meet in the middle, and then they're like, mm, and then they become like an amalgam of two souls, and then the other copy goes back into your body. That's kind of what I would like to see. What do you ask? You have lived a very interesting life. I know how you feel about your world, your trials, your history, but you know mine now too. The bond will continue to grow over time, but we have the ability to accelerate the process. Arnewield needs a strength. We should try to do this now. The queen and Grove. Nisha empowered. Okay, so this is the soul binds system. So either cooldown or concealed until you move. Yeah, I'll take that one up. 
We'll just we'll just push on forward. How can I help? Together we can do anything. With our shared bond, both of us will become more effective in dealing with threats to Arden Wield. Watcher Vesper Bloom requested that I send you to her once the soul binding was complete. She's out in the training area and await your Eyes arrival. To the stars. Seek out Watcher Vesper Bloom. Alright. Who is located on that side, I think. He meant the time skip after Shadowlands. Yeah, again. Uh, I'm pretty sure Blizzard said that it was not going to be a time skip. I knew you'd come to see me. We have much to do. It is the Wild Hunt's duty to hunt down those who would harm our charges and to assure the security of our borders. But as the crisis has grown, so say, so have our duties to Queen and Grove. This is where I come in. It is my duty to be aware of all that goes on within the Endless Forest. It is my charge to help deploy our resources so that we may aid our Queen. Allow me to demonstrate. You're never alone in the forest. Okay. Scouting map inspected. Um, I immediately get a quest. Tell me how I can help. Nisha will succeed in her mission, I have no doubts. You may be wondering about the last boon we may grant the O Champion of Arden Wheel, petitioner to our hunt. A Vesper Bloom could be smirking, or it could be a trick of the light. Before a queen grants you our power and we accept you formally into our midst, there are certain traditions which we must uphold. Are y'all ready for this? Lady Moonberry awaits you in the Sanctum Hall with more information. Break a leg. Goodbye. Fun. The Queen regards you steadily. So, as our introduction into Arden Wield, we are going to play My out long slumber has ended. a little play to describe the life that we have to introduce ourselves to the other people of Arden Wield. During our questing, Ysera has become one with Arden Wield. And Ysera, naturally, doesn't know what happened on Azeroth after she died. So she is in for quite a surprise. Let us get ready, rehearse our lines. Ah, oh, there you are. We're about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here now. Always so much to do. Oh, good. You're here. No time to rehearse, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Quickly now, you, uh, you're wearing deads. Well, suppose it works. For your grand introduction, we will first be performing reenactments of recent victories. Wait, 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 wait. You For your grand grand introduction, we will first be performing reenactments of recent victories and events on Azenov. Uh, Azerov, that's where you're from, right? The Starlight Company has graciously volunteered to help assist us in this production, and we've recruited some special guests. As for the scripts, don't worry about it. Just try to not get too much blood on stage. Will that be all? Places, everyone! <laughs> Is, why was that necessary, Blizzard? Why was that necessary? Uh, 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 okay. So we're going to reenact. What was it? The For the third time, the Burning Legion descended upon Azeroth. The third invasion of the Burning Legion. Death to the, the Legion. Behold, our illustrious hero. It's me. Yay! Hey, I know them. Hi, Noble! <laughs> Hi, Chufa. Um, so some have been wondering, like, what the heck? Haven't the Legion invaded more? Yes. But uh, Blizzard just kind of decided that um, there's only three of them that really count, which would be the War of the Ancients 10,000 years ago, Warcraft 3, and Legion. I love that you have that Warglaive. It makes me so happy. Let us go. And re experience the third massive invasion. I am Xavius. Uh... Line. Line. Lord of Nightmares. Xavius. Lord of Nightmares. Die. Roar. You remember this, Ysera? You remember Xavius? Champions confronted Xavius. Deep within the Emerald Dream. Who are the Legion? Remember when that entire world died? That was the Legion. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> the first time that I saw this, I 
fucking died. Are you gonna say anything else? No. Guess not. And so our hero brought the nightmare to an end. Ysera looks you well pleased. <laughs> uh, beat that weird looking Silvar. Ysera looks well pleased. Ysera is British as well. Just entire Shadowlands is going to be British. Once Savius fell, Azeroth's heroes took up arms against the evil warlock Gul'dan. Boo. Boo. <laughs> it wasn't there, Gul'dan. This one came from the past and another world in an alternate timeline. That's not confusing. That's... I think that's how it went. <laughs> that's not confusing at all. Wait, what? How does that work? Don't worry about it, audience. Not even Blizzard themselves knows how that works. I was there watching them at BlizzCon try to explain it. They didn't even know. All you really need to understand is that we... fought valiantly, but someone else landed the killing blow. Ha! You were not ready! <laughs> That's not the line. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, that was rude. Uh oh. Okay, kill Jaden. Enraged by Gul'dan's failure, kill Jaden the deceiver himself sought to destroy the Legion's foes. Boo! Ysera gasps. Uh, death reigns upon you. Kill him, noble! Destroy him. Yeah, okay. Can do. Oh, that model is a wee bit glitchy. Thank you very much, Yadazir. Welcome, buddy. Oh, fall, hero. Right. No! The defenders of Azeroth won this fight! <laughs> you, uh, you got too much into it, huh? Oh, right! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I never believed that Sargeras could be stopped. Perhaps you will prove me wrong. What do you think, audience? Was that to your liking? Taking the fight to the Legion, Azeroth's champions battled the corrupted world soul of Argus itself. Wow. Death, death and pain. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's how it went. <laughs> that is to a T well rehearsed. <laughs> oh, I love this quest. It all. Hope is not lost. The spark of life still flickers within these mortals. Arise, champions. Fight to save your world. So, other. Oh, okay. I was like, isn't there gonna be a little tree? That's, uh, that's, that's, you know. My torment ends. And so, the champions of Azeroth repelled the Burning Legion, ended their crusade, and saved all worlds. That's what we did. Ysera looks absolutely stunned at the Argus fight. See, Ysera, we done good. And good riddance. Woo, way to go. Wait, worlds have souls? Apparently, I haven't seen any around here. At least I don't think so. Would they be big? Perhaps such beings slumber in our groves? <gasps> Perhaps they do. Uh, what I wonder is... There we go. I was wondering why it all looks so huge. You should be an actor. Oh, I know. I was born to play these roles. Some kind of even Silvar from an alternate timeline of the Burning Legion, a corrupted world soul. Womp womp. Time for the next act. Uh huh. All right, you have my attention. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Quickly, we'll need to help set up stage for the next act. Quickly now, we need to set up the next part of our introduction: the grand drama of Azeroth. 
Azeroth, right. All, the, all these realms are hard to set apart. Go help set the stage, then come back here. You're needed to play a few other characters before you go out again as yourself. Get a move on. We have a lot to cover. Carry on. Help them set the stage. Quickly now. We need to place Teldrassil, and we need to place Azeroth. Now, those faint of hearts. You might want to look away for a little bit. Because this next bit is going to be absolutely gruesome. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like burning corpses and melting flesh and screams of the dead. Um, just, you know. You want volume up? Are you, are you for real? Is it not good? And Reverend Mother Guy is hello there. Wait, can I go fox form? Oh yeah. <laughs> I've got a booty. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I like big butts, I cannot lie. Okay. Costume change. Get backstage! Coming! It's been a short notice, but I have something which might work well enough. Mind the flammable bits of the stage. Good. Now hit your mark. <laughs> oh, look at that. I am Sargeras. <laughs> now this I would love as a transmog. This would be great. Okay, y'all ready? We're about to stab a bitch. But as the Titans were imprisoning Sargeras, he plunged his sword into the heart of Azeroth! Fortunately, he didn't hit any major population centers. Next costume! This cannot be. <laughs> so there's a giant sword stuck in Noble's world? How does that work? It kind of goes in like shunk. I was an environmental protector in life. You can't just stab a planet without serious repercussions as well. To, well, everything. Good point. How would you even make a sword that big anyway? Transmute another world? No idea. I don't think I want to meet the Sagaris guy. <laughs> oh, Ysera, don't, don't, don't worry about it. It gets worse, Ysera. It gets worse. Is it made of cake, though? Oh, that would have been amazing. Right. Make me Nefanos. I could have made the likeness better if I had more time. This shall have to do. Ugh. For the dark lady. Mm, let me lick your feet. Mm, I'm Nefanos. Mm, I will do anything for her. Not long after, Sylvanas Windrunner besieged the night elf home of Teldrassil. Lay siege to the well tree. You cannot kill hope. Can't I? Well then, I'll just kill the tree! Burn it! And so, Teldrassil was consumed by the flames of war! No, that... that was only a nightmare. <laughs> oh no, all those souls. Indeed, Chufa, this is a terrible tragedy. Wait, they aren't here. I haven't noticed a big group like that. Um, I'd have noticed a big group like that. Oh, Ysera weeps. Um, I still, I still kind of need to burn Teldrassil, though. But um, well, I'll just, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just kill the goddamn tree. <laughs> it hurts so much. Can I dance? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're burning a tree now, baby. Mm. Hello. The costume you're wearing next is a character named Reverence. I wanted to go for something avant-garde, material, tactile, corporeal. Cor corporal? Yeah, corpore corporeal. Corporeal, right. Something you can feel, something that allows you to physically inhabit the character. Just, uh, give, give, give me my costume, please. Hello, <laughs> I am horse. <laughs> Come on, Enduin, ride me. <laughs> ride me, Enduin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 
an intriguing idea, but I think this is a bit too avant-garde for this production. We just need to change a little bit of this and it gestures at all of you. Now hold still. There we go. Now that is a majestic horse. Forward ho, my noble steed. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the boy king of Stormwind assailed the undead city of Lordaeron. Charge! You are a terrible leader, King Rin. <sighs> well, you're a terrible person, War Chief. Oh! How dare you! Take that, Sylvanas! Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> but before he could capture Sylvanas, she blighted the land and made her escape. This made everyone very unhappy. Yes, yes it did. Oh, I am so very unhappy right now. <laughs> I bet this will be good. I kind of expected her to just get off stage right there, but that's all right. Windy, telly ho. <sighs> Okay, I'm ready to get out of this costume now. Please remove my costume. Now I am myself again. I need to heal the wounds. Hello. I have come to heal the wounds, Magni the Diamond Dwarf. Ah, oh, it's not doing the voice lines. Ah, uh, boo! May maybe once I'm finished. Coveting this aptly named Azerite, the Alliance and Horde sounded the horns of war! Again! Yep. But they were just in a war. Ysera sighs in disappointment. Ah, uh, they didn't do one of the funny lines. She's supposed to Why say, like, heal this? the wounds, champion, and it's kind of amazing. Womp womp. Okay, well, that was the fourth war over. We healed the wounds. Always so much to do. I can honestly say that I've never seen a performance quite like this. Now, on to a grand finale, a battle for your world that is certain to make the court sit up and take notice. Not all voice lines trigger quite yet. Now for our finale, a grand performance of the most recent trials in Azeroth. Fedelite checks his notes. Azeroth. Oh, sorry, Azatoth. Whatever, it has an artificial god, a powerful magic ice princess, an infamous queen, and finally an eldritch abomination of unspeakable terror. Who doesn't love a good drama with a dash of existential horror? You're back to being yourself, so just do whatever it is that your heroic types do. Very well then. Another war? That's rough, friend. Your line is, that's rough, buddy, not friend. Get it right next time. And so, the battle for Azeroth had begun. Ooh, yeah, wait. Which side are we cheering on? I'm not sure, does it matter? And for our grand performance, we have Dreamweaver as an Azov. With a whole bunch of tentacles, cause of course. We have Senfi as Mother, and Gluber as Gahoon, an artificial god. We have Astra as Azora, an infamous queen, with the hair. Can't forget the hair, beautifully done. And the Ice Princess, flying in on our boat. And the Zandalari captain sailing into a trap. Yep, that's, that's Battle for Azeroth in a nutshell, really. Bring on Gahoon. Deep in the jungles of Nasmir, vanquish the blood god Gahoon. Do we get blood gods or do they go elsewhere? I do believe everything's going to the mark currently. Gluber, as Gahoon, I'm gonna slay you now. Oh. oh. Old god unit Gahoon exterm- Gluber, no! <laughs> Bye, Gloomer. With Cahoon defeated, the Horde and Alliance return to fighting each other. Ysera shakes her head. Ysera is so disappointed in us right now. 
To bring a swift end to the war, the Alliance invaded the Zadalor and killed King Rastakan. The Horde ships pursued the Alliance fleet, but were blocked by Lord Epro Jaina hey, Proudmoor. Mon. Horde vessels on the horizon, Mon! You have nowhere left to run, Ice Witch Mon! <laughs> you really think I've been running, Captain? I lured you into open waters, because out here you have no hope of escape. Mwah! <laughs> Glimmer dust, Jaina didn't kill her pursuers. Oh, come on, really? Ugh, fine. <coughs> Mwah! Moving along. Uh, far under the sea. Queen. Noble fought the Imperious Queen Ajara. Well, aren't you interesting? What's in your hand? Oh, a, a glass of wine. <laughs> 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 of course, of course. Are you gonna hide behind a pillar? Please give Stand me a pillar. Still, but keep moving. Oh, I'm having so much PTSD right now. Run right, but go left. Don't give me orders. Don't make people hide behind pillars, they never do. Bring me more wine! I am far too perfect and beautiful to be defeated. I'm gonna defeat you though. You ill-mannered and unfashionable fools will get what's coming to you! The vain, glorious queen defroned, but it was all part of the Zosnusvarius' plans. Freed from his prison, the old god sought to remake the world in his insane image. I mean, Ashara now isn't that bad anymore, but back then... Until we figured out that heroic Ashara was just burst her down before she burst you down, and then it became a whole lot easier. Okay, tentacles down. Now go into the other realm, party with the ad in there, and then go outside of the realm and kill some more tentacles, and then go back into the realm and kill some more ads, and then go back out of the realm and then kill some more tentacles. And thus the Corrupt was defeated, the champions of Azeroth had prevailed once more, and thus the Corrupt was defeated, Noble had prevailed once more. Haha. -ha. Hell yeah, give me the credits. Awaiting the Queen's judgment. Did you like it, Queenie? The Winter Queen rises from her seats. The Fae await her judgment with breathless anticipation. An excellent performance. Woo! Yay! Noble! 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 That was fun. I liked the part where they beat the Legion. <laughs> I'm still not clear on that. how that Sargeras guy got a sword that big. I'm still unclear how their wood could possibly still exist with... How their world could possibly still exist with a sword in it. Well, I once met the someone whose world was a ring, so is it that weird? Really? Yeah, it usually appears as a big cat thing if they're still here. I haven't seen anyone from that grove in a while. But that's okay. Noble will help us get Artemil back on track. I just know him. Hey, ring world. Yeah, isn't that like a Halo reference? I thought people said it was a Halo reference. So nice to see you. A fair enough performance. I think everyone more acquainted with the recent trials. I think everyone's more acquainted with your recent trials. You probably managed to make an impression at least. Next time we plan for more special effects. She nods at you, Sarah. I think she wishes a word. Don't take too long. We have the final induction ceremony at the Covenant Hall. And I will get 738 reputation with the Wild Hunt. Quite fun. I'm sure you and Ysera have a lot to talk about. Ysera, you're looking a little bit shocked, love. Are you okay? I know a lot happened when you died, but, you know, you did kind of leave us. I am bound to both the dream and the moonless night. Your performance was certainly, uh, memorable. The court was impressed, at least. They do seem fond of showmanship, even fanciful as the production was. I was startled by what transpired on Azeroth while I was gone. Argus, Silithus, Teldrassil, another war. Ysera shakes her head. I'd hoped there were these were merely dark dreams haunting me, but they were all too real. Come, I will convey you to the heart tree for the induction ceremony. We will speak along the way. The cycle must be preserved. Oh yeah, we're gonna write to Sarah. Let's go. 
I thought it was all a dream. Argus in the sky, the blade in the desert, Teldris in the flame. All of those souls lost to the Maw. And Tyrande, her rage darkens her heart like a shadow on the moon. Her hunt is endless and unrelenting. But the Night Warrior's power is as much a curse as it is a blessing. It threatens to tear her asunder from within. I could not aid the Kaldori when Teldrassil burned. I pray I can aid Tyrande before it is too late. Oh, yeah, sure. Just uh, throw me off your back. Why not? Is a bit rude, Ysera. Is a bit rude, love. Are you okay? Are you having a bit trouble with the landing? Yeah. There should be a flight path here. She hasn't flown in a while. I know, right? <laughs> I understand. I can take you to see the queen. Oh, sorry. Um, didn't know I was supposed to talk to you. Step forwards. Receive my favor. I am getting... Oh, I'm going to swear another oath. You've achieved much in the span of a mortal life. We are fortunate to call you an ally. Uh, and so, by anima, we bless you. By spirit, we embrace you. By oath, we stand beside you. Rise, noble of Azeroth, as huntress of the wilds, champion of the court of night, and protector of Ardenweald. Ha ha! Look, I got little leaves floating around my head. Yeah. Your actions here will echo beyond the veil. Help us here so that all worlds in the mortal realm may be saved. And we get the blessing ability. We get world quest and we got calling quests, whatever those might be. And a bit renown. Knight embrace you noble, your hunt be begins. I guess she was done with me. Okay. 